Hey guys, so today we're making this awesome Little Mermaid silhouette cake. Yup. This cake is bad to the bone and it features Ariel as well as her nemesis, Ursula. It's really pretty and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is bake your cakes. I baked almond flavor cakes. Just a vanilla cake, but I added almond extract to it. I think almond flavor is really yummy. Now I'm just leveling it out with my cake leveler. I dyed each of my almond cakes a different color. The first is purple because of Ursula. She's one of my favorite villains, so I wanted to make sure I represented her in the cake. Sorry guys, you were dirty. I cleaned you up. I wanted to represent different parts of the ocean as well as some of Ariel's colors. So I dyed another cake sea foam green. For the next couple layers, I'm just going to flip them over and I'm also gonna carve away the bottom of the cake so that the inside of the cake doesn't have this ugly brown color. For the next layer, I dyed it a lighter shade of sea foam green. Just leveling off the top again and then repeating that process with the bottom. Now this wouldn't be a Little Mermaid cake if I didn't incorporate red. So I dyed this almond layer a very vibrant red. This is brighter than I think most of the red velvet cakes that I make. And to finish it off, I'm just using a plain almond cake with no food coloring. Again, just cutting off the bottom as well as the top. Now it's time! Stack them up, stack them up! I added a little bit of buttercream to my cake board. I'm gonna place on my first layer of cake, which is the purple almond cake. I'm gonna add some buttercream and then smoothen it out with my offset spatula. Then on goes the next layer of cake. Now I forgot to soak the purple layer with simple syrup because I'm very forgetful. <laughs> but I didn't forget with the rest of them. So I soaked this layer in some simple syrup. Then I placed on some buttercream and then smoothened that out with my offset spatula. On went my next layer of cake and we're just gonna DJ Khaled this and put on another one. Another one. Now I'm going to give this cake a crumb coat of frosting and while I was doing this I was actually watching this documentary on Netflix called Genius of the Ancient World. And each episode focuses on a person in the ancient world. The so one episode was from my man Buddha, then the second was from my homie Socrates, and the third was for you know that homeboy. Confucius. I thought it was really interesting, but a lot of my friends fell asleep, so... Learning is not for everybody. I just added another layer of buttercream while I was watching the other episodes. Now this cake is really tall and I didn't really have anything to straighten it out. So I'm using a cake board. <laughs> it works fine, you guys. Place it back into the fridge for about an hour, I think. And then I just watched the final episode of Genius of the Ancient World. It's really good, you guys, but drink coffee so you don't fall asleep. Now to add some color to this, I'm spackling on some seafoam green, seafoam fin, fin, green, fin, fin, fin. See foam green. I really like this unfinished sort of spackled on texture. Very inconsistent, but that's why I think it's so beautiful. Now I'm gonna add a darker version of this color to the bottom of the cake and just work my way to the middle. It's supposed to be like the ocean, you know, so the deeper you go, the darker the color is. Now I placed this back into the fridge to chill and I started to work on my silhouettes. I rolled out some black fondant, pretty, pretty sort of really pretty not sort of thin. And I let this sit out for about two hours just so it would be easier to work with. And I created some Little Mermaid silhouettes that you can find in the description box so you can recreate this baby. And I just cut them out, place them onto my fondant, and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And when you're cutting out this silhouette, you wanna make sure that you get every single attribute of every single line. You know, you wanna get the tiny curves in her hair, the tiny curves in her mermaid tail. The more detailed and more accurate your fondant is to the printed out silhouette, the more fantastic it'll be. So take your time, no rush. I mean, the party isn't till Sunday. 
for me. I don't know when you're making this. This is for my cousin Carol's birthday. Happy birthday, Carol. I'm just gonna pull away the excess and repeat the process with all of my other different silhouettes. As you can see, I also did a white silhouette with Ariel just standing on the rock. You know right after she saves Prince Eric, she's like standing on the rock and the waves are like crashing behind her and she's singing that magical song. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. Remember when she sings that song? The song she sings is a part of your world. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure I, that's the song that she sings. I think, like one of those I think you were watching a different movie. And I'm gonna need this piece of fondant. Now on my black piece of Ursula fondant, I'm actually taking a paintbrush and using a little bit of vodka to make the surface sticky. You guys, stop getting mad. Vodka evaporates. There is no alcohol in this cake. So many people overreacted. I use this little bit of vodka on the surface and it's like you guys think I'm just like showering this cake with Grey Goose. It's not my birthday yet, you guys. Once the surface was sticky, I took my aerial stencil and I just placed it onto Ursula. I wanted it to seem like even though she's having this like I want to know what love is moment on this rock, Ursula's like watching her in the crystal bones like you thought uh-uh not today you ain't getting that prince today homie she sings a part of your world um is that even a disney song i don't even know that song now i grabbed my ursula silhouette and just placed it onto my cake now this cake just came out of the fridge but because my silhouette is at room temperature it kind of melted the surface of the buttercream and then it just stuck so i didn't actually have to put any adhesive of any sort then I just repeated that process with all of her tentacles. Now part of me thinks I should have made Ursula a little bit smaller, but I really like the fact that the top of her head and the top of some of the tentacles go above the cake. I think that's really cool. Just keep placing them on and then trim them a little bit if you have to. Again, if you want these stencils, they are in the description box. So if you are a professional baker and somebody wants you to make this cake, Make it for them, please. Make money off of this video. Lord knows I'm not. <laughs> People always ask me, how much do you charge for this cake? Homie, I don't bake professionally. I'm just messing around on YouTube. So I always feel bad when I have to like turn them away. I'm sorry guys, I don't take orders. You guys, maybe one day. No, I don't want to take orders. Unless it's from like Chris Pratt and he can order me around any day he wants. Now on the back, I'm going to add my aerial silhouette. And I'm using a circle cookie cutter just to make sure that I get it in the exact place that I want. And I placed a circle of buttercream into the middle of that circle. And I'm using this little like spackle tool and just mirror it towards the cookie cutter guideline. Just work that all the way around the circle. And then I'm taking a little bit of yellow buttercream and just repeating that exact process. The idea was to make it look like the sun as seen from under the sea. Have you guys seen the sun from under the sea? I have. I have. I was drowning though, so it was... It was kind of like a beautiful, terrifying experience. I drank a lot of seawater. And I placed on my aerial silhouette. And then I added two more silhouetted tentacles. I just freehanded these two tentacles. I just wanted to make it look like they were encapsulating Ariel. You know? She's got her eye on you. Now, Ursula has eight tentacles, but I only put six because I couldn't find room for the other two. Now, I really love the way this cake looks, but it isn't finished yet. I didn't want the silhouette to be completely flat, so I'm taking some black buttercream and just adding some little splotches of black. Now the larger ones are Wilton's 99 tip and the smaller ones are Wilton's 16 tip. Isn't it amazing that I said the tip names? I almost never do that. I always forget. That's why these tutorials are like half baked. Now I'm also adding some black pearl sprinkles to give it a little bit of shine. And I wanted to represent more of Ariel's hair. So I'm taking the same tips and I'm just adding a little bit of red to the blue parts of the cake. Now for the top of the cake, I'm using an Ateco 487 tip. And in between each of these little stars, I'm adding a red gumball and a light blue six slit. 
Now we're almost done, I just need to add a little bit of sand. I placed some graham crackers into a Ziploc bag and I just took my fondant roller and just took out a whole lot of my frustrations. Um, I wasn't actually even that angry, but I forced all of my anger into this fondant roller. It's like the best way to handle things. Don't punch anybody in the face, but beat the hell out of your graham crackers. <laughs> now I just took some of my little bits and then placed them around the bottom of the cake. And voila, our Little Mermaid silhouette cake is complete. It's so pretty, you guys. It's really, really pretty. Now I'm curious, have you seen The Little Mermaid? Of course you have. So what is your favorite song? Mine is I Wanna Know What Love Is. It's like the best Disney song I've ever heard in my entire life. I wanna know what love is. I want it. If you want to see more silhouette cakes, I created a Lion King silhouette as well as an Aladdin. If you want to see more Little Mermaid cakes, I have an awesome Ariel doll cake. In Ursula doll cake, I even created her daughter Uma. And I also have this pretty brilliant Ariel princess cake. It came from a Target cup. My Little Mermaid game is strong, you guys. Now make sure you turn on your notifications. I don't know where they are, so I'm gonna pretend I'm a stewardess and just point you in all of the directions. There's an exit here and also here, you guys. When you turn it on, you can be notified of when I upload a video or when I post something in the community tab. I love you guys. Peace!